everybody. Welcome to my class. I am teaching you English of class 4. It's unit 1 and the topic is Welcome to Deepa. Okay students, before starting this topic, I would like to ask you some questions which are in the book also. Have you ever been to any villages of Nepal? What did you like about it? Have you ever been to any villages of Nepal? What did you like about it? Okay, let's discuss this question. I think of course you have been to many villages of Nepal. It's your maternal home, it's your relatives home, or it's nowadays homestay is so popular. You have been to homestay as a guest nowadays, yes. The homestay of Nepal so popular villages are Kandru, Kalega. It's one color also, etc. Yes, and everybody loves to go to the village. Yes, it's your relative's home, then it's a great friendly behavior and hospitality. So many things you love about the villages. What are the things? Mainly the things that you love about your village is natural beauty, first of all, it's natural. Yes, it's so fresh here. You get there, a great hospitality, a organic, delicious food. Okay, and so many things that you love about it. It's nature, it's green, hills, mountains, rivers, streams, and so many things. And the question is, do you love your country? What? Do you love your country? Why? I love my country. Yes. Think you also love your country. Yes. Uh, we love our country. Yes, we love our country because it is our motherland. It is our birthplace. We love. We respect our country because it gives us our identity. It gives us our nationality. Yes. Therefore, we love and we respect your country. Okay. It's a topic. Welcome to Nepal. Let's talk about Nepal, our country Nepal. Our country Nepal is a country which has the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest. Alright students, you know about Mount Everest? Yes, everybody know about Mount Everest. And another thing is, our Nepal is a small country between two big countries, our neighboring countries, India and China. And it is in our Asia continent. It is in our Asia continent. And another thing is, our Nepal is geographically divided into three regions the Rai region, Hindi region, and Himalayan region. Therefore, we can get three types of climate here. We can feel three climates, three types of climates here. Okay, students. And about Nepal, Nepal is a home of hundreds of caste and Culturally diverse people. Culturally diverse people. We can get cultural and religious harmony in our country. Okay? And another best thing is our country is birthplace of Lord Gautam Buddha. He is light of Asia. I think you know about him. Yes? And our country is so much small in size but very, very, very rich in cultural, traditional and cultural, traditional and natural beauty. So many tourists come to our village, come to our country to visit Nepal. And we also welcome them with a warm heart, with a great hospitality. Yes, Agriculture is the main income source, major income source of Nepal. But nowadays, tourism is also getting its height. Yes, tourism, tourists are also coming in our Nepal to see the natural beauty and so many things. Okay, students. Okay, we talk about Nepal now. Everybody, I think you know 
about Nepal because we have studied in Shusha also. Yes, you know better. Okay, then another one is before starting this topic, I would like to show you some pictures. Okay. okay. This is the picture that is a teacher is teaching her students. So it's showing something in the picture. Yes. And the children are also in a discipline. They are curious about what she is teaching us. Yes. They were watching eagerly about it. Yes. And the teacher is also teaching them a bit of picture. And another picture is this one. Look at there. It's about, I think, village area. Yes. City area is not so much thing. There are so many trees. Yes. Village area is. Uh, traffic, a uh, road is clear, no other vehicles are there, and along the road there is river. Yes, a boy is swimming there, and there is a bus, it's traveling to another destination. Yes, a at another side there is green trees. Okay, students, there are so many green trees, it's a natural beauty, I think. Okay, it's about Nepal. I will go to the new words in your text. There are so many new words, there are so many unfamiliar words which you don't know how to pronounce it, how to spell it, or how to read. I will help you, don't worry. Okay, this is the word. Okay, all of you students, repeat after me. All right, previous. Please say with me, previous. Another word is along. It's a along. And the word is spring. Spring season, spring. It is a little bit easier one. Salt it. Salt it. Lorries. Lorries. The word is floor. It's a floor. And the word is trick. Small word, trick. The word is exciting. Excite. The one, whistle. Say with me together, whistle. I will give you time also. Cousin. It's a cousin. Bigger one, longer one. Vermilion powder. Say with me, vermilion powder. The last one is chills. It's a chills. Okay, students, these are the new words that I told you to pronounce it. Yes, you have to pronounce it, you have to repeat it by yourself. Picture in the screen. The screen is a red color. It's called vermilion powder. Okay, it's a vermilion powder. Mainly you use this in Holi, yes, it's a familiar powder. And second one is Flow. It's not a phone, it's aeroplane, but you can use one place to another, yes, to transfer aeroplane. And when you are transferring through aeroplane, we say that flown through aircraft or flown through aeroplane. Second one picture please. It's a sati. It's a sati. You know that yes, I think it's the same picture also. Yes, it's meaning. And the word is this picture is about spring season. Yes, we love this season because the season has so many flowers. Okay. And the picture is vision. Yes. These are the new words that I am showing you the pictures that we are very clear about this new words. It's a wish. What is this? It's a wish. Second one. It's a lorries. What are they? It's a lorries. This vehicle are bigger than a truck, just like a truck, but it is used to transfer goods from one place to another place. Okay, and it's about expression, 
exciting. Yes, when we are so happy. Yes, you saw this expression. Exciting. When we are very happy, when we have birthday and you get so much gift, you are excited. Yes, that is exciting. Okay, these are the verbs which are very new for you. Okay, there are so many things, so many words with their meaning. Okay, let me show you. It's a flow. What is it? It's a flow. Its meaning is travel in an aircraft. The flow word is the past participle of fly. Can you read fly? Yes. And what is cousin? You are so much familiar about this word, I think. Yes. It's uncle or aunt's child. It's a cousin. Sound it. I show you just a picture. Say it something loudly. Say something loudly. Spring, yes. Time of renewal, a season. Spring is a season. Especially, yes. The so many flowers are blooming, yes. And the word is whistle. Object which makes a string sound. A peach sound. It's, it makes a peach sound. Okay. Dress. Ornaments. You know. You think, I think you know this. Dress. It's ornaments. I think your mother or your sisters, yes, maybe woman wear it. It's so online. Exciting, causing feeling of happy. Okay? It's exciting, causing feeling of happy. Last one, it's lorry, large food carrying vehicles. It's plural form of lorry. Okay? Dear students, I think you know this new words. I will give you homework of this new words. You have to write down it five times. You will copy with your meaning. So you should know it, how to pronounce it, how to read it, and you should know that meaning. Okay? Now, I will go to the stopping now. Okay? Second one. Look. Welcome to Nepal. Okay? I mean, I'm going through this topic. It was the first day for Rami and Dipali. In part. You can repeat after me also, okay? No problem. You can repeat after me also. Again, okay? It was the first day for Rame and Dipali in Nepal. They and their mother had flown. Just read, read this word flown. Yes? Flown the previous morning from Germany. Now, they were on their way to the village where their were mom's brother and sister-in-law lived. Mom's brother and sister-in-law means your maternal uncle and maternal aunt, mama and my Okay? Look, said Rami, as the bus went along by a river, along means, you know, along means this. This is a road and this is a river. It's going along the side. At one side, it means along. Okay, students, that notebook. Some children were playing in a tree. I'm not explaining this word. I will explain it later on. First of all, read it after me. Repeat after me. Okay? Tree laughing and jumping in the Jumping in the water. Oh yes, says the body. It's too hot. It's so hot there. We will soon be there. Mom says. Do it again. It was the first day for Ramesh and the body in the park. They and their mother had flown the previous morning from Chamundi. I think you know the meaning of previous. Previous means your previous class. It's class 3. It's previous. Yes? Now, they were on their way to the village where mom's brother and sister-in-law lived. And the one in the paragraph. Look, said Travis. As the bug went along by a river, that look 
some children were playing in a water, laughing and jumping in the water. Water is missing, okay? Oh yes, said the father. It's so hot, we will soon be better, mom says. It's page number three, and give you page number four. Page number four. At the village, everyone came running to meet them. Welcome, welcome, said Uncle. I will take you round the village, said their cousin, Mokit. Cousin. Do you remember the cousin here? Yeah? Come on. Wait, Moni, say, Aunt. Your cousins need a rest first. They sat in the garden and Aunt gave them a lovely cold drink. Then Moni took them round the village to meet all his Friends, I think I am going to like the park, said the park. Soon, Mohit, Ramesh and the party were going everywhere together. Let's go to the market, Mohit said one morning. Mohit let them take turns to ride his bike. And they were at the market in no time. I think you are getting worried. Stay with me, okay? Oh, we must buy one of those wishes, said the party. Or a little red elephant, said Mohi. Or some of this cake. Or a snake. The snake, yes, yeah? said Rami. A snake in a basket. Is that a real snake? Yes. Another day, Ramesh and Dipali went to school with school. The teacher wrote in Nepali on the board and the children copied it down. Ramesh and Dipali tried to copy it too, but Nepali was hard for them to write because they haven't written before. Keep trying, said the teacher. But they could not write between Nepali like the book. Nepali. Nepali went right off the paper. Never mind, said Mohi. I will do it for you. One day, on special day is coming. It's a spring. Yes, it's a spring season. That means it's time to stand for Holi. During Holi, Everyone will come the spring. Aunt and the mom began to work very hard making special food and drink for food. Okay, page number four and an ending your class. I'm giving you this is the homework you wanted to read your homework. And I also request you to do that new words in your copy five times. New words and meaning with meaning also. Okay. And I'm not explaining this text to you today. Tomorrow I will explain you. Okay. First of all, you have to you have to know how to read it. First of all, you have to know how to read it. Therefore, read the text at home and think about this question. Answer it. And this I have told you that new words. Yes, you have to write down the new words five times with me. Okay, this was the today. Thank you.